Today we're going to be talking about how to read codes, clear codes, and monitor live data on your Gibbs Quad Ski. Alright, so first thing you're going to need to have is a working laptop and a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, make sure that there is a good charge on the Quad Ski's battery. And then make sure you have the proper key and the key on. Um, I also have the kill you know, uh, band in place as well. Then what we're going to do is look down in here and on, on in these, on the right side, you have a this plug here, which we're going to go ahead and turn our flash on here. You have this plug that keeps it sealed right here. You can see it's normally plugged into this right there. You're going to want to press down here on this little release and pull it down and out of there. And then you're going to plug it into this OBD device here that um, you can buy. This is a USB CAN interface. This is the part number. You plug that in here. And this is gonna be for the Gibbs computer. There's two different control modules. This one here is uh, from BMW that controls the engine. And this one connects to one that's up underneath there on the flat bottom side of this under panel underneath the battery tray. Uh, and this is going to control items like the uh, reverse motor, the, uh, the retraction, wheel retraction devices. There's also a water pump that is down in here that is controlled by it as well. And then you just, you know, USB plug this thing into your computer here. And then this is something else, we're not gonna look at this yet, but there is something called an Easy Map 6 that we have installed on here. And you just open that up and boom, you've got, uh, we've got no faults here. If you wanted to uh, um, reset faults, you'd go up here, System, Reset and Set Services, Clear Faults. Um, okay, and then also you can test functions, you can command on, like right now we hear the um, bilge fan running so I can uh, force it off you can notice boom turns it off uh, you can also go through other uh, pages here and show you know actual live data um, again all these update live uh, so it's like we'll go ahead and show you like the, the brakes off brakes on it just shows that there's no voltage across that due to it you know being connected through the brake lever switch it's a really good asset to have um, next we're going to tell you how to get to the BMW computer so that can also set the check engine light and service items uh, not service items just check engine light I believe uh, under here in the same place we found the first plug you'll find another plug like this which will have a twist on style cap remove that cap and then you'll see an arrow here, and you're gonna to wanna to grab your GS911 uh, hex code, and there's two arrows here. You're gonna to wanna to turn this all the way to the left, line up this arrow with the one engraved in there on the plug. Again, you can see it right there. Line those in, and when you have it aligned correctly, it'll kinda of, um, pop into place, it'll kinda of and boop, there you go see that and then you can just twist this on until the next arrow lines up with it okay and then you'll see the power light flashing that's connected now through this fired um, cable or whatever USB you'll go to USB to the computer and through that you can set up a lot of things here in the um, by using the uh, GS911 Wi-Fi utility and this helps you configure it, update it, you're going to need to connect it to USB. Then you can choose the Wi-Fi network in your shop that you want to use if you need it to be live data viewed by the factory or something which I've never had to do so. Um, but you can also use this to set up a connection to a hotspot or something like that if you did need that and you're out in the field and it breaks down. Now, another, um, if you don't want to do this, what you can do is open up your web browser and then connect to uh, the GS Wi-Fi. And this is only going to work if on the back of this you see 
the green light over there on the right side. See how there's two like Wi-Fi battling each other there? <laughs> if it's green there, then you're gonna use this. You'll see there's also the same signal there and it says IP, uh, IP let me get so you can read it right side up. Dope. Not easy to do. 10.0.0.1. And you'll just open up your web browser once this is connected to it. And go to that page and you'll get this set up here. So just to show you that you know, I'm not lying, again, all it is 10.0.0.1. Hit enter. Boom. There we go. And then you're going to go to uh, series. It's a K series with a CAN bus, so K024, and then down to K1300S. And then engine controller is the only one I believe that it's on here. And you can see the information. You can do read faults. You can um, do real time values. You know, all this is, you have to have the key on. So go ahead, turn the key on and talk over this loud bilge fan and real time values should come on here uh, you can hit display value just gotta connect so it may take a second and we can already see it's connected we got 12 volts here it's running a little low need to charge this bad boy up while it's doing that we'll just go ahead and go to the read fault codes no fault codes you can clear fault codes or again real-time values you can choose what you want to observe what you don't want to observe so if you're looking for a specific problem um, and then go hit display values and there you go that's what we got uh, kill switches and run Let's see if we can make that go off see how it says run there I'm gonna unplug this and stop so yeah I'm not sure uh, that's why after I unplugged the stop switch there so fuel pumps off all that stuff is off because you know the quad skis not running but this is where you would go check it out okay that's easy